Our history has left us not only mentally divided, but also physically separated, with poor black people forced to live far from work opportunities and infrastructure. In Seapoint, several cases centering on so-called maids' rooms, which have accommodated domestic workers for years, have recently landed up in court. Prohibitions and evictions by new owners have swelled the ranks of the homeless, with those occupying back rooms forced out to make way for new and upmarket developments. While landlords have the right to legally evict tenants, low-cost housing in Seapoint and surrounds remains as elusive as ever. Back to Johan Abrams. Some homeless people are evictees from the back rooms that are part of every Seapoint house or block of flats. Domestic worker Sheila Madakana, a mother of three, lives in Main Road, Seapoint. She's been renting this room for years and seen a succession of landlords, but the latest owner wants her and her family out. Despite the fact that her eviction is legal, she's fighting it on the grounds that she has no alternative accommodation. Or most people staying um, in, in, in what is known as the maid rooms are not allowed to have visitors coming, there, coming over. That basically means if I have a mother staying in Seapoint and working in Seapoint as a domestic worker, that I don't get the chance to see where my mom lives and how my mom lives in, 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 in the room that she's staying in. That basically means she's isolated from the family, isolated from um, everything else that she knows and now is, is forced um, to, be, um, to, to stay alone. And that is a problem on itself because the isolation of our mothers is that when you want to visit your mother, you have to wait for, for her um, in a public space and, and that's where you meet and that's the way it ends. Sheila is fighting her eviction with the assistance of Reclaim the City. On February, we are going to go to court and Reclaim the City are 100% behind us that are being evicted in Seapoint. Beauty Sususa was evicted with her daughter and grandchild in the first week of January. She'd been living in the domestic quarters of this building for eight years as a paying tenant while working elsewhere. Two years ago, she received an eviction notice. I was forced out. My landlord took me to court. So the court, first time in the court, they gave me six months that I must stay. So my six months was finished at the end of November. So I went to appeal again. It's whereby now they said I must be out on the 9th of January. So on the 8th, I was, be, I was be, decided that I must be out before the sheriff come, because I don't want the sheriff to come to make a scene here if, be, be, between me and my children. So now, where are you now? I'm just around here in town. But anyway, while I'm still looking, just it's a temporal place that one I'm in, I will come back again around this point because the struggle is not end yet. I, I'm still continuing fighting. This is the beginning. This is not the end. And this is the beginning. And you're not the only one that's facing this? No, I'm not the only one who's facing the eviction here in Seapoint. I can say they are targeting, since we're fighting for this uh, thing of, uh, of Tafelberg, for Reclaim the City, they are targeting all the people who are the leaderships in that project. So they want, when it comes to the end of giving us the right answer, all the leadership must be out here in Seapoint. That's why there are too much... Uh, people that are in the street, it's because of this eviction disease, which is, we don't like that. That thing, it's a pain on us as a human being to be on the street. We, d we don't do it because we like it. We don't like it. It hurt us so much. We don't like that thing. Like Sheila, beauty's eviction is legal. She works elsewhere and the room is needed by its owner. But Reclaim the City wants the courts to be more lenient to low-income earners. They argue that accommodation in Cape Town is unaffordable for the working poor. Because if you can't still find um, alternative accommodation with, the, with this extended six months, that basically means that you will be evicted um, to homelessness. So it's a, it's a, the, law, the laws that we have now are postponing evictions, but not entirely stopping evictions in, in, in Cape Town and in South Africa at large. Coming up, do Cape Town City bylaws infringe the rights of the poor? If you decide to bring your bed 
and leave it on the side of the road. And our cleansing department comes past, we are going to take it. It is litter. I want you to imagine if you we... Litter? It's somebody's bedding. No, you sir, there's nobody. Thing. No, sir. There, I, I, unfortunately, there is a certain of cleanliness that has got to be maintained within the city.